Okay, let's get some bleeds. Oh, sh Nice! Get some bleeds and burns on him. Let's, uh, let's also get some assay. Oh, sh Get some assistance. Um, take this. All right, welcome back, everybody, to Rebirth. I am the Bearded OG, and Horde Knight is just about upon us. Uh, it took me pretty much all of the time since I left you in the last episode up to this point to get this put together. Um, so basically, I created like a little obstacle course for them, but they might actually <laughs> they might actually just jump from here to there. I don't know. Now that I look at that, um, we could probably prevent that if we take these blocks here and um, let's actually copy that block there and then we'll do an advanced rotation uh, yeah okay so if we just do this that should prevent them from trying to jump up that way so I don't know how well this is going to work but Basically, what I have going on here, I actually have two fighting positions. Um, you know what? Let's do that, too, so it attaches to the ceiling and gives it more glue. Uh, so this will be our main fighting position. And the idea is that the zombs have to... Oh. Uh, I guess I probably better put a couple more blocks in here. Uh, so they, they're going to have to jump. Hmm. I wonder if they, if they'll jump across that or if they'll just run across it. Um, can we just run across it? Oh, we can't. <laughs> All right. Well, it'll still send them around the corner. So we're just going to go with it. I mean, I, we, we can't change it now anyway. So the idea is that they come around this way over to here, and then they run at us across here. But what they'll do is they'll hit these quarter uh, poles here and then fall down uh, the hole into the, into the basement and then have to, they'll have to, you know, cycle back up. Meantime, we'll be inside of this cage here and we'll just be popping Zeke's with um, uh, black magic arrows, you know, to get, uh, them to fight for us. If I had more time, I would have removed that staircase down there. Well, more time and better tools because, man, my hands killed me from all of the concrete blocks that I've had to cut. Um, You know, because if they land in the water, supposedly anyways, if they land in the water, they don't go into rage mode. Um, So, yeah, that's so that's our main fighting position there. And then if we come into here... And come up this way. Um, I also have a, a very simple pit set up here. And we can just, you know, if that, you know, if that section fails or whatever, or if we just want to, you know, move them around a little bit, we can come over here and shoot black magic arrows on them as well. I also set up a land claim block here and you can see you know from the bounds that it covers the entire building um and i set a bedroll up here because we can turn that off that way if we die um you know we spawn right here inside this little elevator and then we can you know be relatively safe from vultures if they attack us and i did put another land claim block down at our other base too just so we don't get ray pops now, the other thing that kind of concerns me is, um, oh, shoot, I was going to make a hatch for this and I forgot. Damn it. Um, all right, well, I'll tell you what, let's upgrade these. And if we end up, you know, if this gets, oh, shit, okay, well, we won't be, <laughs> we won't be repairing anything. 
Um, I killed a, a horde. Actually, I had a, a couple of things happen while I was trying to build this. First, we had a, a boss group come in. And then um, we also had one of those uh, those big fat monster guys. Can't remember what the hell they're called, but he came in too, and we killed him as well and got a blue bag drop from him. Yeah, and then. Um, Right before I started the recording, we had a, another just normal wandering horde come through. So uh, Doom and I killed uh, several of them. We didn't kill all of them, but we killed a lot of them. And um, scav outfit. Yeah, that's not as good as what we're wearing. I haven't even had time to really look at any of this stuff because, you know, it's been pretty much nonstop trying to get all this stuff done here. Uh, we can put that in there too. Okay, so we'll carry that stuff. So I guess, it, yeah, if this gets breached, I suppose, you know, assuming we have time to do it, um, we can just, you know, cover it with a block and then at least upgrade it to wood. I don't know how, you know, effective that's going to be, but it is what, it's what we got to work with. Yeah, and then we'll just sit in our cage here and... If this base works the way that I hope it does, they'll just cycle to us and then hit the box and fall down. And then, you know, they'll just keep cycling, assuming, you know, hopefully they'll behave and follow that path. If they don't, then, you know, then it's just going to be a clusterfuck at that point. And we'll just shoot them with arrows. And, you know, if this portion of the base turns out to to fail, um, you know, we've got that other fighting position, too, if we need to, to use it. So that is the plan. I hope it's good enough. Uh, we need to... Take a vitamin, and I have eight, or no, sorry, I've got 11 boiled waters in my number eight slot. So let's throw back about five of these is probably what we're going to need. And then I also brought some canned food with me to eat because I just haven't had time to go hunting or do anything else but get this thing ready. So let's throw back, see, we get 10, that'll be 60. Yeah, we're going to need at least three of these. And then that should get us uh, our um, hydration and our food under control. Uh, that gives us five. Let's take one of those two, and then we'll save these other ones for in the morning, because we'll probably be hungry uh, in the morning. And, Okay. Yeah, so I think um, I think we're about as ready as we can be. You know what I could also do now that I think about it? Well, actually, I had planned to do this and just forgot is we should put our... Um, oh, fuck, though. Yeah, I don't have any cobble, so I'm like... I was going to put my sledge turret down there, too, but I don't want to put it... I don't want to put it down there if... Um, I can't put it on um, at least an upgraded cobblestone block because... It, if the block breaks with the turret on it, I don't know if it destroys it or not. Um, I guess what we could at, at least do is put it down on one side so it'll keep them away from, from the sides. So maybe what we'll do is we'll put it, because it's not, you know, going to do us any good up there. Maybe we'll put it right there. Okay. Doom's in the cage. He's ready to go. All right, guys. So, yeah. Um... Let's do this and see what happens. Um, I want you oh. to be... Um, in fact, you know what? I'm going to pick you up. Well, no. you got stuff in your inventory. I'm just going to keep him in halt mode. And if we do happen to get zombies that spawn in the building, because it seemed like that was happening to us on Horde Night 7. They were spawning on the roof that I was on. You know, then he can help us with them. Otherwise, I'm just going to... Have him stay with me. That is the plan. Oh boy, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 
Um, there's one other thing we have to be mindful of. Every time I shoot a zombie with a black magic arrow, it takes one life away from me. So, um... You know what, let's take one more of those. So, you know, we gotta, you know, watch our health. Okay, so... Uh, are they gonna... Pe okay, that guy's... Alright, I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> They're not pathing. He, well, okay, he is. Well, he was. He is, okay. So he runs up here and then he just falls right down. Okay, so it's kind of working. And in the meantime, we'll get a couple of friends to help us here. Yeah, see, they they just fall right down. They don't, don't even have a chance to hit this. It actually works quite well. Sounds like they're right behind me. Now this works really well. Okay, let's get Darlene down there. That is really loud. I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, let's let's maybe turn it down to halfway. It's just super loud. Just have to try and remember to turn it back up. And after Horde Night's over. Let's get you. So yeah, the sledge turret's keeping this side clear anyway, and I can I can shoot down here as needed. So this path is sort of working, but it's not it's not working uh, super well. <laughs> In hindsight, maybe I should have just gave them, given them a straight path to just run up here. Um, if we end up using this setup for the next horde night, I, I'll do that. Let's turn him. There's a lot of stuff going on somewhere behind me that's a little concerning, but I don't know what I can do about it. All right, what in the... Oh! Was that... Was that damage there already? Let's see if it's... I'm trying to think of where they would be if that's... Oh, they are making damage right there. Oh, this is not good. Okay. Um, How are they doing that? More to the point. Are they going to be able to get up here? All right. Let's, let's m pull them away from here. We might have to do our fighting from here because they have figured out a way to get up there really close. So we, uh, oh, that's, that's disappointing. But what I can do is, um, yeah, we'll figure something else out. I mean, the cage part of that with the quarter blocks and all that, that was working great. We just, they just weren't playing <laughs> with the pathing. And I think I probably just made it too complicated. All right. So let's just see if they'll come over here. I want to get them away from there. Very concerning. They're, okay, I, I think they're trying to break that iron door down there. Oh, there they go. Okay, good. Yeah, come over here, boys and girls. This is where the party is. So with the witch doctor set up here, um... Well, the first thing is, is, um, are we going to get, are we going to get points? Witch Doctor points. Oh, no, we're not because I never got, oh, look how close I came to. Well, you know, whatever. It is what it is. I just, I didn't have time, you know. <laughs> I spent every moment I had to try and prepare for this thing. And sometimes the chips just don't fall your way, I guess. So, you know, remember our main goal for tonight is just to survive. If we can do that, I think we're doing pretty good, whether we get XP or not, right?
Man, if I could have just gotten a few more hits off, right? <laughs> oh, well. It is so fucking loud. Oh, my God. This is pretty cool, though, I have to say, man. Getting the Zombs to fight for us. Pretty damn cool. I'm really enjoying this Witch Doctor class. Well, assuming we survive the night, this might end up being a little bit of a boring Nord night. <laughs> so, if that indeed is what happens, um, I'll probably just fast forward to morning because I'm getting no XP, so there's you know nothing to watch there. And, uh, you know, they're, it's just me shooting them and them fighting each other. So we'll see how it goes. I, I'll obviously keep the recorder running in case something crazy does happen. But at this point, uh, this could be all there is to it, you know. So we'll see. Maybe for the next Horde Knight, we do some combination of the ladder base and the little setup I have over in the other room, but do it like outside on the edge of the building. So we'll have to see. That's weird. The cop is on our side, but he's spitting up here. Oh my god. Okay, here. You come over here. That did a lot of damage. Oh, I'm I'm getting pushed again. There's some weird thing that happens where Oh, we can't repair those. That's right. I don't have any cobble with me. Ooh, okay. Is the cop still around? He's got to go. Uh maybe hmm. No, he's he's down there. Yeah, we got to kill him. Okay, he's down. Seventy-five XP for killing a cop. What the hell's up with that? Is that some kind of horde night setting? Hmm. We're gonna have to look at that. All right, we got a buffer. Yeah, see, something's pushing me. I, it's the weirdest thing. I, I think it's like. When we turn a Zom, sometimes their hitbox is really weird. Yeah, see? Getting pushed by one of my turn zombies. It's it's a little bit irritating because it makes it hard to shoot down there when I'm getting pushed around. Oh, God damn it. Come on, man. What the fuck? Okay, run over here. Yeah, I'm getting pushed around. That's not me doing that. That's so weird. Maybe this fucking building's haunted and it's a ghost push me. Yeah, as soon as I... I turn him, then I start getting pushed. What is up with that? Okay, he just got stuck on the floor. I'm not... I'm not sure who does the the poison buff. The dark-haired nurse in the white lab coat does the heal. The big bald guy in the kind of sea green coat does the melee. And the big bald guy in the white t-shirt does the purple shield. But I don't know who does the poison, that yellow stuff. I'm going to have to figure that out at some point. Not that, yeah, I, I mean, that's not really hurting us because we're not near him to get poisoned. But it would be good to know that for just in general, right? Yeah, this getting pushed around business, man. 
It's from the birds. Is it that guy there in the blue tank top? Yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. Is it this guy with the hazmat suit and the fire tank? If we get another um, cop come in, we got to make sure and shoot him. You know, especially with that pushing business, it could push me right, right over the edge into the hole if one of these breaks. Well, what we could do is... Let's just get a couple of these ready. Yeah, see, I'm getting pushed again. And we can just quickly replace them. Yeah, whenever you see me move kind of erratically, that's not me doing that. Like that. <laughs> oh, we need to repair our bow. So I brought the branches along. So weird. See, something else that's weird too is some of the zombies act like they're running in place, like they're there's some something invisible blocking them. Let's take another bandage. All that or most of that health damage is just for me shooting arrows. Wow, how do I keep missing that guy? Fuck. These guys are a lot harder to hit than you might think, especially when you're getting pushed around. God damn it. Hit somebody. <laughs> Just wasted arrows. This is embarrassing. There, finally. Jeez. All right, we got him. Some of them are, like, melding into the floor, too. I wonder if there's just some weirdness with this POI or something. Oh, we killed him. Uh, it's too bad we can't go back to our other fighting position and try that, but they were getting close to a very dangerous breach, so I just don't want to go over there. Looks like the sky's maybe starting to light up. I have no idea what time it is. There's still a vulture above us, too. Hope that blue bag sticks around. God, that's a pain in the ass. Fuck. <laughs> Why is this happening? So irritating. See, I'm not doing that. I am not moving myself. Hands free. <laughs> I swear I'm not doing it. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's bad enough that I have potato aim to begin with, but to be pushed around at the same time is just no bueno. I bet you I've wasted at least 50 motherfucking arrows tonight because of that pushing and then probably 50 because of my bad aim <laughs> um, hopefully we'll be able to recover um, some of them anyway yeah hands free I'm not doing it well it's almost morning at least 
And missed another one. Okay, we got him. See, it pushes me out of the the corner. Does it have something to do with my bow? Nope. It pushes me no matter what. Even if I have a melee weapon. Right. We got him. How the hell did you get up there? Let's take a bandage while we get pushed around. Trying to grab my arrow from there. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. We survived. <laughs> it was a frustrating horde night. First, because we couldn't use our better killing position. And secondly, because of this bouncing around bullshit. I mean, I'm not doing that. I'm not moving. <laughs> I know you guys are. I'm sure you believe me by now because I keep trying to prove it. But it's just, it's really fucking frustrating. Oh, my God. All right. Um, yeah, they, uh, somehow or another, they got over there. Let's, um, let's do some fighting from here because we still have a bunch to clear out here. Well, you know what? Actually, we should do. We should go down and, and try and kill him with the scythe so we can get Witch Doctor. Um, how's my help? Let's, let's heal up. Um, Resume halt. Okay. And make sure you're loaded. All right. Let's go. Oh, you know what? I want to get my... Resume. I want to go get my uh, sledge turret. Okay. Oh, shit. Um... What I want to do is see if we can Okay, well, we need to get some side kills here. There we go. As soon as we hit Witch Doctor 3, then we'll start leveling. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Scythes. We'll start leveling. Okay. Oh, we, uh, no, that's our character level. Okay, one more level and we can get our mercenary, so we're getting there. That's so funny. Get the little mini me here. Damn it up. There we go. Okay. Now we're going to start leveling Witch Doctor. Nice. Okay, let's grab that and come into here. You guys are... Oh. 
I'm blocked. I can't I can't even get to him. I'd like to get over here and see if I can get some of my arrows. And let's also get these bags too. What the fuck? I'm trying to get to the bag and I get, keep getting pushed. There we go. Nice. We've got a... Oh my god, we do have a bunch of arrows here. Um... Oh. Okay, here. Oh. Let's... Let's see if we can burn these guys out because they're they're too glitched. And we do have uh, we do have a poison buffer around somewhere. I have no idea who it is. Yeah, see that is that corner is really glitched. Okay, he's dead. Can I get close enough to you to... No, I can't. Oh! That's not good. Okay, give me those arrows. Look at look at all these arrows on the floor. These are all the, the misses. But we can recover them, so that's good. Let's get as many as we can. Nice. Okay, so we're getting some of these back. Um, I'm kind of afraid to throw my turret over there because I don't want it to glitch to the floor. Oh, we got him. Nice. Okay. Um, all right. So I think, I think we've recovered a good portion of our arrows. Let's knock that guy out of the sky. Alright, he's dead. Okay, give me that. Why don't you be our buddy? Okay, let's get these arrows. Very nice. Oh. See, I'm I'm being pushed again. It is it is it like a specific zombie like this guy? Is this um This can't be part of the horde. This is this must be a new horde. Let's repair this. Nice. Grab this. Um, we've got to keep an eye on Doom's health. Nice. Well, hey, we're getting some loot now. Maybe these are Horde Knight Horde in there. Because they're giving, a, giving us the loot bags now. That guy's... Oh, okay. I was going to say, man, he's, like, totally bugged. Okay, he's dead. Get a little stamina back. Hell yeah. This is kind of like the Horde Knight after the Horde. <laughs> okay, let's take another bandage. Let's also get the biker on our side again.
So we're. I'm glad this is happening though because it's allowing us to make up a little bit for, you know, no XP or loot or anything from the Horde Knight itself. Oh, Darlene's still alive? Well, alive is a relative term. Not anymore. <laughs> Alright, so Doom turned... Uh, Granny Zombie. Whew! Oh, man. I think... I think that's it. <laughs> so the Horde Knight was a bit boring, a bit frustrating. But the Horde Knight after the Horde Knight was kind of fun. Uh, let's take a look and see where we are with Witch doctor -y stuff. Yeah, we're already 31% of the way to, uh, to the next level, which is amazing. Okay. Um, I need to... Okay, let's take another vitamin. And then we're going to take a ratatouille. And we're going to drink some of these. And let's eat this. I'm just going to eat all of this food so we can get completely topped off here. And let's have one more of these two. Okay. I want you turned back to normal blocks. I guess we need a nerd pull. Got her. Whew. Okay. Finally have a little bit of breathing space. Except for you're caught down in there. Alright, let's go. Let's look and see what they were doing. Did somebody just shoot you? Do we have a, a bandit out here? Uh, is he a bandit? Uh, I'd say so. Motherfucker. Hey, we got a shotgun out of the deal. <laughs> so I guess, uh... I guess some bandits actually wear fatigues, so note to self, because I thought it was always just the, you know, the survivors that wore the fatigues, but that is not the case across the board. All right. Anyway, okay, so what they were doing is coming around here and getting through here. Okay, we can, we can prevent this from happening on the next Horde Night. We just got to... You know, put some blocks in, or if I get a better pick, I can even just cut out, you know, cut this out so they can't get over there. Because what I think I would like to do for Horde 21 is try this again with it upgraded to concrete and make and just tear all this shit out and just give them a nice simple path. Because you guys saw when when they were able to path up there, they just they just cycled all the way down through and then came back up. Um, and then you know, hopefully in when that time comes, I'm not, this isn't really a melee setup, but it, but we could use our tactical as long as I can get enough ammo going. Um, either that or we'll, um, maybe try, like I was saying, setting something up outside with, a you know, a ladder and, um, maybe something along that lines, but out on the edge of the building too. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, oh my god, that was crazy. Um, we should... We're at level 14. We're 37 and a half on the way to Witch Doctor. Uh, we should be getting an airdrop today. And speaking of which, you know, we had... I had this airdrop here that I never went to get. So... What's going on over here? What the 
frick is that? Oh, that's just a, a booger. So it looks like a horde busted in through there. And there's the loot. That's interesting. Resume. Um, is that a sleeper? Yep. Oh, shit. I just realized, too, I'm a bit encumbered. Oh, there's a pig. Um, in fact... This is Hogzilla, and I need meat. Like, a lot of meat. There's a buffer around. Yes, yeah, so we have 10 pieces of meat there. That's good. Uh, let's loot her. Oh, there's the buffer right there. Yep, he's dead. Okay. I'm just wondering if we should try and maybe get into this place. He's going to turn in a second. And that sledge turret is useful. Okay. Got him. Yeah. Get the pig. Oh, shit. More meat for us. There's the booger. All right, 42.3% of the way to the next witch doctor level. Uh, we need more rotten meat too. Oh wow, look at all the brass in here. Okay, I'll, I'll come back here later and Wrench all that. Door's locked. Um, here. There's no way we're going to just be able to walk in there and grab that loot without something happening. And, uh, well, I guess we're only one thing encumbered. Holy shit. There's a grace in there. Uh, I don't know if I want to mess with her. Doom's only at half, half health. Yeah. Uh, let's come back and do that another time. <laughs> I don't think I want to mess with that. Okay. Um, tell you what we're going to do to end out the episode. I'm going to go back to the base real quick, drop stuff off, and then we're going to go see if we can find that airdrop. And maybe we'll get lucky and the other one will, will also um, go by while we're doing this one. Oh, there it is. There's the orange smoke right there. Okay, cool. So we're going to get a horde, uh, just a little horde. Well, I think it's just going to be a little horde with this. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. But since this is our very first airdrop, it looks like it's just normal Zeke's. So this shouldn't be too bad. 
Alright, let's get um, you to help us. And these guys are really duking it out over here. Got him. Uh, there's a deer and more zombies over there. Okay, let's get the let's get the drop while we have few moments and then we'll if those zombies come over here we'll kill them too but yeah it takes 20 seconds to open these so you can't just oh there's desert over there look very cool we'll go drive over near it so we can get it on the map but it takes 20 seconds to open these drops so when there's a bunch of zombies around you can't exactly just come in and ninja out underneath them you got to kill them first oh that's some nice stuff Okay, we could stand to take this right now. This we're bringing down to... Actually, let's bring it down to here. Um, okay, what is this? This is a rogue outfit. It's not as good as what we have, so we'll just sell that. Um, we got 100 blocks and a melee expertise schematic. Okay. Not the best loot in the world, but not terrible. So I don't know if I don't know if that other airdrop came in and I missed it with all the fighting or what. Or maybe it doesn't come till noon. I don't know. It's supposed to come every seven days. That's how I have it set up. Uh, so this can be removed. Yeah, that spaghetti was nice. And the red tea, too. Let's save the red tea for like a boss event or something. Because um, if you don't know this, the red tea makes you run really fast. Um, and it all, you can also carry more weight, and I think it might do one or two other cool things too. But it's uh, it's amazing. <laughs> I was using it on the Purge, my Purge playthrough. and Because uh, I, can, I can make it there. Uh, we're still, still going to have to find a distiller and another stove, tabletop stove, before we can... Um, you know, make it here. Okay, there's a Prussian blue. Let's go over near the desert just to get it on the map. And then I think if, I guess if that uh, other airdrop's not going to show up, I guess we're probably done with this episode. But yeah, so... Again, the important thing about the Horde Knight is we survived it, right? <laughs> and that's what I... That's what I... Oh! Is that wasteland over there? Um, there's a bandit. Let's kill her. She can have sometimes drop some pretty decent stuff. Very good. We'll take that. Um, I was gonna maybe ride over here a little bit. And also get the wasteland on the map, if that's what that is. It looks like it is. It's either that or burn biome. That way we just know where it is, you know, for future reference. Got a POI up here, too. Yeah, that's burn biome. Okay. Which, if you guys didn't know, in Rebirth is more dangerous than the wasteland. I think I already actually mentioned that, though, in one of our other playthroughs. Is that a boss? What the actual? I think that's a boss. Uh, okay. Here, let's pick. Oh, let's pick this up. Um, let's grab this. Okay, we've got a, we've got a 
survivor here to help us. Doom's only at half health, though. Can we use that on you at all? Resume. Okay, let's get some bleeds. Oh, shit. Nice! Get some bleeds and burns on him. Let's, uh, let's also get some assist. Oh, shit! Get some assistance! Um, take this! Okay. Bleeds and burns. Bleeds and burns. Here. Come and help, buddy. Zombie bully. Hey, cut that out. Don't you remember when we were once friends? Those were the good old days. Nice shit. Okay. Hey, level 15. You know what that means? Oh, that's okay. That's a rebirth um, level up. Um, that means we can get our, our mercenary now. Thanks for your help. Uh, what's your name? Abigail. Appreciate it. Whew. Okay. Zombie boss bully. Very nice. Um, we are 68.77% on the way to Witch Doctor. I don't, I don't want to get in his muckety muck there. Abigail, how much do you cost? Two thousand. Yeah, we we can't uh, we can't do it yet because we don't have the. Uh, we need to actually do jobs, and we will. I mean, it's just there's so much shit to do, right? <laughs> but doing jobs is what levels our charisma, so that we can hire Abigail or whoever, right? Let's see if we can get another honey out of this. Oh, there we go. All right, I'm going to keep you with me a little bit long. Oh, shit. I hope that doesn't drop in the desert. If it does... Fuck. It's in the desert. Uh, shit. Okay. I mean, we have three vitamins. Okay. I guess we pop a vitamin and go get it. Stay in the forest until we get close. See, this is the red tea. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> you still run out of stamina, though, so you got to be careful. I think I'm going to also top off. You've unlocked armor tier two outfits. Okay. Quality four. That is um, still light armor, but... Man, we're getting a lot of good schematics. Okay, how much how long is the red tea good for? Uh, one more minute. Oh, where did that drop? I don't know, but here, let's take this. And let's get this down. Oh, there it is. I see it. 
All right, hopefully this will also just be a – we have 12 minutes on the vitamin. Hopefully this will also just be a normal zombie horde and not anything crazy. Let's just see what happens. All right. Uh, we got a healer, but we can get her on our side. There we go. How the fuck did I get on fire? How did that happen? <laughs> I don't know. Is there like... Why is there f fire over there? I don't get it. Is there some kind of fire zombie messing with us? Go get the loot. I'm not worried about the dock. Well, it looks like Doom's going to take care of the dock. Two airdrops in one day. Nice. And a boss kill. There's a chicken. Oh, wow, look at that, a steel shovel. Very nice. Fire immune zombs, um, a farm bundle, and some more food. And steel and stuff. Okay, good. Overall, not bad. Okay, let's go get our bike. Uh, let's just get let's get out of the desert. Um, you know what though? While we're here, we really should at least try and spot a. That's weird. An oil shale, so we know where it is when the time we can come back and get it. Um, I had a hell of a time finding oil shale on my. Um, purge playthrough. I found one little shale. And I got like 1,300, and then it exhausted the thing. I'm like, oh, what the fuck, man? So we have eight minutes left on the vitamin. We are hot, though. So let's just take advantage of that and drive around and see if we can find an oil shell. I'm not going to mine it right now, but we can at least mark it and go directly to it next time. And we want to stay, you know, close to the border of the forest. I think I might have a, a cooling mesh mod in all of our stuff. So, okay, here we go. Right here. So we're just going to um, mark that. And we can come back and get that. That's interesting. All right, guys. Well, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. And uh, not sure what we'll do in the next episode, but we will figure it out. And we'll have a damn good time doing it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. See if I can find one more oil shale.